Сразу паника поднялась. Я еду очень плохо. Мама, вызови скорую. Я говорю, сейчас приедет голый Саша. Вот сейчас они наши спасатели, они нас все время выручаются все, во всех случаях жизни. Я в 6 утра я позвонила, и начало седьмого тут же были вы у меня. И отвезли меня в Терем. Там меня, нет, Миюн. Там меня спасли. Сени возили в Терем. И до, пока его не выписали, никто не ушел. Был Фима, а потом ты пришла. And I saw a lot of different volunteers from a lot of different organizations, also a lot of volunteers who just came, like me, just to search for some volunteering opportunities. Also a lot of representatives from all the other bodies of government. But none of them knew uh, anything that other is doing. Like, there was no communication whatsoever. And no one asked the evacuees themselves like the refugees themselves what do they need and what do they want and there were a lot of material aid and which largely wasn't needed so i started to speak with people and when i talked to them i realized that the problem is much much deeper that it's not just that no one understands their needs but even some vital and urgent needs are not met And then I realized that uh, there is 40,000 refugees in Jerusalem and I'm alone is not enough to talk to all of them and to actually pass the information about their needs to someone who can help them. Uh, I need other volunteers to do what, whatever I was doing. And uh, people came around and then we registered the Muta and now that maybe mainly what we do. Ты знаешь, я большущую жизнь прожила. Я стыкалась с многими людьми. Мне очень пришлось тяжело пережить, когда моего сына радили в армии. Мне много в жизни пришлось пережить. Но то, что я ощутила на старости лет от чужих людей, сколько в них доброты, сколько в них... Ну, любви к чужим людям. Просто я говорю, что Господь должен их по макушечке погладить. Потому что это люди, которые отдают себя целиком этому делу. Это не все так могут и не все так хотят. We approached a lot of foundations in search of funding, but only Centre Macor was quick enough to respond to our needs, although even their funds are not enough to cover uh, all of the expenses of our non-profit organization. Those refugees who came from the north and still are in the hotels, they're not going anywhere until the end of the war, and it's not going to be over soon. It's here, and there are people in dire need of our help, and together we can help those who need it most. Thank you.